Hey, good evening, everyone. It is I, Miss Sophia, the diva, the plant diva, the crazy plant lady. Uh, that's who you're getting tonight, okay? Um, so I went out with no intentions of buying plants. But if I see them, I commune with them, and then they speak to me, and then I take them home with me. Really, what I did today was go uh, to Atlantis Hydroponics with the intent to get one plant in particular, and that is an Alocasia Black Velvet. They had one for $20. It is small. It is a nursery part. It needs a little help, but that's cheap for this particular plant, okay? That's all I went to go do. Plus, I just love being in there. You know, they sell everything you need, you know. I'm even thinking about at some point getting a pet fish from the plants because, you know, the nitrogen breakdown and the fish waste, you know, the water, it really helps. But my planties, this is an alocasia, black velvet, if you please. Okay. So this one was, they only had, um, when I went online, they only had six of them listed. When I got there, there were only four. Um, We have a new lease coming in, which I'm very excited about. And I'm hoping that this baby gets big and kind of looks like it's Brother Evan over there, which is having some struggles. And I don't know why, because either way, you know, I'll, I'll figure out how to triage it. But while I was there, another plant that has been on my wish list for some time, the Neon Pothos. It may not look like much, but this baby is beautiful. As you know, I have the Devil's Ivy, the Golden Pothos. I also have the Enjoy Pothos. I also have the, uh, what is it, the Jade Pothos, uh, which I got last week. I love pothos, okay? So they had this. This one was $20 too, okay? Which is a steal because it's hard to find these damn plants. I'm surprised they didn't have it for $100 because some of their foliage in there be like, like them Monsteras, they be selling for like $130-some and they be the same size as the alocasia I just showed you. So this is a neon pothos from Atlantis Hydroponics uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, I love this place. It's a great place. Even if you don't buy anything, it's just great to chat with the staff and learn about plants and fertilizer and all of that. It's my happy place. And they remember you. It was like cheers when I went in there. So anyway, it was awesome. So this one is going to need a little bit of rehabbing, but I love snake plants. I love them because they're so easy to take care of. Okay. Now what I didn't know is that there are other snake plants out there and I want all of them eventually. So that'll be, uh, and this one has babies coming. This is a snake plant. It's known as the black dragon. As you can see, there's a little wear and stuff. And I actually could propagate this plant right now. As a matter of fact, I may cut off part of this leaf and stick it in water and it will start to root. Uh, But I have babies coming in, as you can see in this one. But I love it. Of course, y'all know I love the exotic. The more exotic the plant, the better for me. And I had no idea that the snake plant or the mother-in-law tongue had something called a black dragon, if you please. Okay. But I had a string of pearls. Okay. My string of pearls is dead, y'all. I really wanted them to survive. That They make it. Now, the young lady did tell me you might be able to propagate what's left of the plant. So I'm going to try to prop I'm going to try to propagate that on tomorrow. So she introduced me also to what they call a string of bananas and it was on clearance. It was 10 bucks, but it was an additional 30 30% off, so I paid like what 750 for it, which is a good deal. So we're going to try to see what we can do with this succulent. It's a succulent. Uh and hopefully it, it, it grows. I mean, you know, it was just something. I'm, this is on my wish list. I want this, the donkey tails. I need to buy a new string of pearls. I think I know what I did wrong with growing it. So, yeah. These are all from Atlantis 
hydroponics and garden. And if you saw some of my posts, I don't know if I posted on my main page. I don't think I did. I posted in the plant groups, but I'm going to post some of the things that are out in their garden. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to get a house with a yard, right? So up next, my final purchase, it was on sale. Uh, as many of you know, I love prayer plants, the, cal- the, the calatheas. This is another prayer plant. It's a, it has a little wear and tear, a little better than bruise, but this one will survive and there is new growth coming. As you can see right now, that's a new leaf starting right here. Oh shit, can't see that. There's new leaf starting here. Uh, there's all types of new growth on this plant. So this plant will thrive. It was 15 bucks, but it was on clearance for less than that. Um, so that concludes the Atlantis hydroponics stop. Okay. So then after going to get my hair done, because as y'all can see, the locks are gone temporarily. I need to take a little break from the locks for a while because I need to go see a dermatologist. Um, as you all know, I'm pretty open about anything that's going on with me, but I do have high blood pressure. And so because I have high blood pressure, um, over the years of taking the pill, uh, the water pill that I'm on with the blood pressure medication, uh, it has caused the top of my hair too thin. And I need to go see a dermatologist so they can examine my scalp to make sure the damage is not uh, permanent. So that's one of the things I have to do. So anyway, after getting my hair done, I needed to go to the grocery store. One of my favorite grocery stores. It's not everywhere, apparently, but there is little. If you know Aldi, you know little. Aldi is the competitor um, uh, to, I mean, little and Aldi are competitors in Germany. So I walk in there and just like big boy said in that movie, I don't remember what movie it was, but he said, I know that ain't who I think it is. I know that ain't who I think it is, baby. Yes, it is. Bam. Okay. Come on now. Come through marble queen. This is a pothos marble queen. $3.99 at little. Okay. $3.99. People want this plant. You can't beat this price point. Go, we could just go look it up and see how much people are selling it for on Etsy. Just go look it up. Oh yeah, we got a lot of plants. So I'm so excited. So my other favorite plant, aside from the pepper, Peperomia family and the uh, Santiva family and the uh, Pothos and Calathea. I also love philodendrons. And I got this heart leaf philodendron today for $5.99 at Little. Isn't it pretty? Oh my God. I was like, do y'all even know what the hell y'all be selling? They don't know what they be selling. Because like, I'm pretty sure. If you go somewhere else, you're going to pay about $30, $40 for this plant, if not more. But I got it for $5.99. And it comes in a nice clay pot. Very nice. $5.99 is a steal of a deal. I also bought a basil plant. Uh, I had to be away for a few days. And um, I don't have anybody to water my plants. Okay. And so I keep... I purposely keep uh, plants on the balcony that are anti-mosquito and it works. It does. I have um, two. Uh, oh, why can't I even think of the name? But either way, two citronellas. Uh, I always keep mint and basil and rosemary and oregano, all of that on the balcony. Marigolds because they keep mosquitoes away. Well, while I was away for all of two days, uh, one weekend, uh, this past weekend, as a matter of fact, um, my damn mint, my purple basil, and my lemon balm all died, just just died. So I, I just bought a basic basil plant, a regular basil plant today from Little as well. But that's just as typical. And plus, I put basil in my detox water along with mint and cucumber, celery, you name it. But we getting ready to come in on the home stretch, y'all. So, um, 
I went to Lowe's, okay? I kind of knew what I was going in there for. I um, Somebody had posted in the plant group, I, I don't know if it's Black Plant Mamas or Propagating and Pension for Black Women. I don't know. But it was one of my plant groups I'm in. And somebody said, you can go to Lowe's right now and get plants for a dollar. A dollar? Hell, five dollars. Okay. Y'all, I got an arrowhead. I love arrowheads. I have, um, what is it, the St. Mary. I have the butterfly. Uh oh. Less sounds like my AirPod is dying. Hold that. Whomever's watching, just, just sit there, hold that. And now I'm getting ready to show you my $1 and $5 plant finds from Lowe's. And baby, your mind is going to be blown. Hold up. Let me get that. All right, so I'm back. So I walked around because I'm one of those people that when I see something that I like and it doesn't have a price tag, I purposely go look to see is there another like it or similar where it can be priced out. Because I was in the clearance section. I said, this got to be a clearance plant because it's not, you know, it's just it's the only one they had. So I got an arrowhead and I'm not sure which breed of arrowhead this is, but I know it's not the one that I have, but um, I don't know if it's the dwarf. I don't know if if somebody's familiar, I can kind of look and see. Let me give you a good look at the leaves. Yeah, there we go. That's a really good look. Yeah. She gave this to me, the service, the customer service manager, because the guy that was working in the back and garden, he's not a full time garden person. He uh, didn't know, you know, he said, I don't know, because I'm the cashier. I don't work in the garden section, but there was no price tag on it at all. And I got it for one dollar. Okay. Now, I am not a fan of succulents. But I have been wanting a lotus succulent because I think they're so cute. And I have enough rocks and sand where I think I might be able to triage this one. But this one was just, it was just $1. Okay. It sells for $10.98 retail. But uh, what's the proper name? It looks like it's an Escaveria Peril. Von Nurnber. But either way, I think it's, this is known as the Lotus Succulent. Um, it's got a little wear and tear like around here and stuff. But I think that if I remove that and repot it, it'll probably be just fine. Like, yeah, like this is coming off. So we just won't have that. So I think I can triage it and, uh, you know, repot it, put it in the cactus soil. And uh, we'll see, you know, if we can if we can save it. But I'm excited. Um, I might actually just build my own little terrarium using a glass jar or something and put it in there. I don't know. We'll figure out something. I'll let you guys know how I do. I also bought a rosemary plant because um, I, I I needed a rosemary plant. Uh, I don't need another hanging plant because I ain't got no place to hang it. But like I told y'all, I love peperomias and... Uh, this one was $5. Okay, it was $5. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to go, but it's going to go somewhere. I'll make it work. Y'all know I love my pepperonis. $5 at Lowe's. But, oh, I have a majestic palm, and that was not what I really, really wanted. What I really, really wanted was a parlor palm. 
Baby, look, they had one on sale in the clearance aisle on the bottom shelf. A little beat up. Come here, baby. Let the world look at you. I wanted a parlor palm. That's what I want. Now, it says a cat palm, a cat, I don't know what it, but I, I looked it up, and from what I saw, it's a parlor palm. Either way, the other palm I want is a Chinese fan palm. I'm going to get that when I saw they had them down there to the Kroger. Um, but I don't know where that's going to go either, but we'll see. Come, let, so let, let, let's take a look at my steal of a deal. Five dollars. Mm-hmm. For a fifteen dollar plant. Okay. Uh it's called a cat palm. Uh, but I mean, honestly, it's I think it's a parlor palm. I don't know. I was Googling it and planting and all these other apps. Nobody really could identify it. So we just go it looks like the parlor palm that I've been wanting from IKEA that they never seem to get that they had for nine ninety nine. But this one was five dollars. Uh, shout out to Abby down to the Lowe's for ringing me up. Uh, which, by the way, she also makes wigs. I found out, and she is just a joy to talk to and deal with. She has excellent customer service. Uh, so that concludes my plant finds. I did go by Walmart and pick up some marigolds because I needed some new marigolds. Uh, I did learn... Uh, with marigolds from now on whenever I buy some be it from Pike's Nursery or Walmart uh, because I will no longer be buying them from Lowe's or Home Depot Uh, but uh, which is interesting to say that because Lord knows Walmart does not take good care of their plants we be looking at them like what the hell happened to these plants but one thing I have discovered about marigolds I'm just going to leave them in the container number one Uh, because it seems to fare well in a container um, that it came in. So, you know, until I get a yard, of course, I can't, you know, I've got my little flower beds, my hanging flower beds uh, outside. Uh, But, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a, this was an interesting day to go out and, and, and spend $22 on some very expensive plants at Lowe's. Not to mention spend a couple of bucks here and there on some hard to find uh, plants. Uh, And it makes me happy. Listen, I know some people think it's an addiction. Maybe it is. I mean, it's cheaper than what my old addiction was. Do y'all know I could spend like $600 to $1,000 a month on clothes and shoes and wigs? Um, I took an inventory recently of my wigs because so many of them are now in my storage here. And I'm just like, I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. I had a bunch of wigs. Uh, and if I should grow weary or tired of, of my plants, which I doubt that will happen because Lord knows as stressful as my job is, which I love my job. I do. I love the work that I do, but some days I just, I'm not feeling it. And if I need to repot a plant, prune a plant, do something with the plant. That's what I do. I go in the lab and I work on my plants. Um, so for me, it's therapeutic and it's way cheaper than my old addiction, which was fashion. And apparently I'm still fashionable. Um, I was, I was standing in line at the Cuban restaurant today to get my delicious Cuban sandwich and empanadas and I love yellow rice and black beans. It's like I could eat that as a meal, like maybe not every day, but very frequently. And this lady goes, oh, my God, because we were I was laughing. Me and her were having a good kiki ki with her boyfriend because like he was at the counter. They gave him the credit card receipt. He could have signed there, but he didn't sign. I said, sir, you, there's a whole counter just right there. You going over here by the drinks and, and signing up against the wall. Are you you scared to be over someone going to grab Hell, I was like, has it been to prison before? I I didn't say that out loud. But she said, oh, my God, I love the way you coordinated your outfit from the mask. And all I have on is like this Facebook where everybody knows your name, T-shirt, some jeans. And I had on some um, Donald Pilner. um, Is it Pilner? Pliner? I don't know. I had on these leopard print loafers, deck shoes looking things I've had, I don't know, for years. But they are comfortable and they're a size nine and they fit 
which lets me know that some European designers make shit bigger for people with big feet. It make you feel small. So anyways, apparently I still got it, but yeah, I'm going to tell people I'm not trying to justify it, uh, but it's very therapeutic for me. And, you know, I'm also making new friends too, doing this, you know, I'm in the plant group, I've met some wonderful people and some of us are plotting on, you know, having repotting parties and going plant shopping. Uh, even, even in the era of, of what we are, I'm still very cautious about that. <sighs> Meanwhile, Miss Pumpkin is jealous of the plants, I think, but she'll get over it because I take better care of her than I do the plants most times because she gets walked three to four times a day and fed and rushed to the vet whenever something is not right. Um, so she has nothing to complain about. Oh, on Rizzo. But anyway, that's my story. This is my plant journey. Um... I don't know where these plants going to go. Why well, I, I got a place for the for the for the big plant. I just need to find a container. And I may go to IKEA tomorrow and get a basket for it or something cuz my yucca that I got, my spineless yucca, I don't know what's going on with it. It wants to lean on the everlasting arm. I'm going to figure out what to do with it. Um, if you know what to do with it, let me know cuz I can't lose that plant. I wanted that plant for so long. It's the Spanish sword, and I love it. It's beautiful. I don't know what to name it. I was tr- I'm trying to come up with a name for my... I wanted to call it Ferdinand, uh, but I said that would be wrong because they helped start slave trade. I need to find a moor, a famous moor um, that lived in Spain. Um, I know my friend Dewan Brown would be a person to consult about that. So maybe I'll ask him if he's watching. might be watching. Um, But anyways, my life with plants. Uh, So ultimately, the goal is to turn this into a cash cow uh, with these plants through propagation, consultation, and styling your plants in your house. One of the things that irks me sometimes, (laughs) I'm like, you just got a bunch of plants in the house and you don't have them styled at all. You just got plants every goddamn where and there's no shelving there's no leveling there's no feng shui uh why it looks that way you know so that's one of the things I'm working on too is that in a small space like you're like my apartment is far from small but the problem with all apartments unless you have a corner unit there's not a lot of lighting okay so all of my light is on the north side here and um it uh, it gives great indirect bright light to all of the plants. And even some of my plants like to be even farther from the light, like my golden pothos. Uh, she was right by the door and chaos. She did not like being there. So I had to move her back and she's thriving. But lately I've noticed that some of her leaves are yellow and she's not being over or under water. So I don't know what a problem is. I was like, girl, you need to get together because look, Ikea ain't selling none that look like you anymore. So you got to survive. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I think that's it. That that concludes my plant overhaul, my adventures in plant vine. Listen, if I see something that I want in my collection and it's within my price point, I'm going to get it. Like I said, the most expensive plant I've bought to date has been my Spanish sword, which was $29.99. Um, and then everything else has been like 20 bucks and under, uh, for the most part. Um, but I think that's it. So, um, y'all have a great Saturday night. Cause I gotta go take all these babies outside. That's the other thing. Like I told, like I tell people you need to get some memes oil, uh, which, uh, you can easily get at Home Depot, Walmart, wherever, and, you know, dilute it down with a water. So it, it dilute it down and spray your plants down. Because when you bring these plants into your house, you do not want, you don't know what they have on them, uh, what they got going. So you definitely want to not let them get with your other plants and contaminate your plants. Um, for instance, today when I was at Lowe's and Home Depot, I was very disappointed because I was unable to get a mint plant or even a, a purple basil plant because 
all of them had aphids on it. And I'm like, how the fuck do y'all have plants setting up here that are infested with bugs that will destroy them and no one wants aphids in their freaking summertime tea or lemonade or libation or detox water. So either way, I guess maybe it's out of season because I hate buying uh, mint and basil over and over and over again. So that's why I always buy a whole damn plant. I just go outside and pluck it when I want it. Um, But I think what I'm going to have to end up doing is bringing them inside and using my grow light uh, to nurture them because aphids love mint plants. And um, yeah. So anyways, that's all I've got. Thank you all who did watch, who did join. Yes, I am the crazy plant lady, as my friend Rosemary refers to me as, um, or plant diva, uh, plant lady, whatever. I just love them. And, you know, it, it teaches me a lot about life, too, when I deal with plants, because I think about how if you don't give them water, if they don't get the proper amount of sun that they're supposed to get, how they just wither and die away. It is kind of like our lives. People don't think about it this way. You do need water to survive. If you don't, there are certain things your organs will do. You end up with kidney stones, renal failure, all of that. Vitamin D is stimulated your natural vitamin D. You need 20 minutes in the sun to activate that. And vitamin D is one of the big deals when it comes to your immune system. And um, that's why it's so very important is in this time of the pandemic that you take time to go out in the sun for t- all of 20 to 30 minutes and have a nice walk in it, let it kiss your sun and, and stimulate that vitamin D to help fight off infections. Uh, you know, God rest his career. Uh, but Louis C.K. had even said that, you know, he says, when God comes back, he'll be like, but there was food on the floor. What, what is all it is? Like everything you need to be healthy and healed. And, and as a matter of fact, to prevent things, um, it's in our food. Unfortunately for me, my high blood pressure is hereditary. So, I mean, it's a natural thing that happens in my family. And uh, it's pretty much under control. I just hate the fact that I have to be on these pills that have robbed me of my freaking hair at the top. I mean, it's not gone, but it's very, very thin. But um, my stylist, she did tell me, she said that uh, it is starting to grow some more. So maybe the wild, what's that stuff called? I put in wild girl, whatever it is. Something my sister had recommended. Uh, You know, it's working, but I also take a biotin that also probably is highly effective that I found on Amazon. I don't remember what it was, but it, it, it grows the hell out of my nails if I take it. Uh, problem is I was in my storage recently trying to organize and find some stuff because I've been selling stuff on Poshmark. And I'm like, hell, people hadn't been hitting my Poshmark for so long. Shit, that stuff been in storage. I was going to dig around and find it and pray to God I find it in time to ship it. But I'm rambling now, so I want you all to have a great night. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday as it comes in. Um, I've been Miss Sophia the Diva, and this is me and my crazy plant life. Have a great one.